Welcome to a new video showing my top five new features from the two latest firmware updates for the Phoenix 5. First off, abnormal heart rate alerts. To enable this, press and hold the middle left button, scroll down to settings, scroll down to sensors and accessories, and wrist heart rate, you see new menu option, abnormal heart rate alerts. Turn that on and you can set that to a threshold as you choose. An alert will go off if your heart rate exceeds that threshold for a period of time while in a sedentary position. Do note though that Garmin variables are not medical devices and I've included the link to Garmin's disclaimer. Next up is Garmin TrueUp. TrueUp is basically a way to sync your activities and other metrics between different Garmin devices. So say you have, a, in addition to your Phoenix 5, you have an Edge unit for example. That means if you've been out on a long ride, maybe you have a new VO2 Max, you come home, you save that activity, you sync that on your Garmin Connect app, those metrics will update on your Phoenix 5 watch. So you will get a new VO2 Max, your training status will update, and also your activity will show in your history on your Phoenix 5. So to enable that, you need to press and hold the middle button, go to settings, scroll down to your metrics and go down to true up and turn that on you only need to do that once an example here if i go into my history look at my activities i can then go into my edge 130 look at my history they will all be there next up perhaps my favorite feature the garmin extended display so what this does is that it broadcasts your data fields on your Phoenix 5 onto a Garmin Edge unit. So to set this up for the first time, go ahead and start a bike activity. And on your Edge unit, in my case an Edge 130, go down and select Extended Display. First time setup, it will ask you to wait for a connection and hold your Edge unit close to your Phoenix 5. Once you confirm a new sensor is added on your Phoenix 5, you can see my data fields on my watch. I have lap times, I have altimeter, I have a grade. If I then go on my edge unit, scroll down, I have the exact same data fields there. To see how this would work in a race, go ahead and start a triathlon activity. So once you press start, you press your lap button to go into the first transition, press that again to start your bike segment, pick up the edge unit, which in a race situation, of course, will be mounted on your bike. Scroll down to extend the display. Just wait for the connection to be established. And once that's done, you will see the exact same data fields. Your timings will be exactly as on your watch. Just a brief look at the fourth feature. Garmin has updated the sleep algorithm, so it should now be able to more precisely detect different stages of sleep, including rapid eye movement sleep. And you can see these new metrics inside the Garmin Connect app. Last one up, custom locations in the sunrise and sunset widgets. This is one of my favorite features on the Phoenix 5. It's a widget where you can scroll to different dates, look at how the sunrise and sunset will change. If you press and hold the middle button, you can enter locations, select one of your saved locations, for example, here I've chosen Berlin coordinates. And if you want to go back to your current location, you just press and hold the middle button press location again, scroll up, current location. You can also enter custom coordinates here. So press and hold the middle button when you are in the widget, go up to location and coordinates, and you can enter your custom coordinates. Here I've selected the coordinates for Sydney. Once that's done, it will confirm your coordinates and give you the correct sunrise and sunset time. So that concludes my top five features from the two latest firmware updates for the Garmin Phoenix 5.